I hope that isn't too distracting. It's very sunny out today, which you can't complain about in the middle of February in Nova Scotia. But welcome back. I have a book haul for you guys. This is my $100 book haul. Value Village um, sent me a, I don't know, promo kind of coupon um, that it was 50% off books. So the coupon was in effect from Wednesday, February 10th to Sunday, uh, February 14th. Um, it was 50% off all books, uh, magazines, something else I think at all of the Value Village locations um, and I could use the coupon up to three times. So this haul I went two different times. The first time I went to the Dartmouth location at Value Village and I got I think it was around $24 worth of books and then I just went again today um, and I got like $80, $80 worth of tax so it came to like I think between the two it was just over a hundred dollars but I got a ton of books I'm so excited to share them with you guys so let's get started okay um, I think I'm gonna start over here first the first book that I got was Stephen King's Needful Things I just I love used books like when they're in such rough condition like that. Um, I got Stephen King Ger Gerald's Game. So there's that one. That, oh, I was so excited when I found this one. So, so excited. Pet Cemetery, and it's like the version with the cat on it. And it's actually in pretty good condition, like considering the ones that I found the other Stephen King ones but like I think this is the 1989 version 1983 so I'm so excited to have this in physical copy I just finished the audiobook of this oh, oh. Stephen King four past midnight that looks pretty cool Four more Stephen King books here. I have Stephen King Desperation. So this one's in pretty good shape. I just, oh, doesn't that just make you want to read? Like, look at that. That's the inside cover. The next Stephen King book that I found is Dream Catcher. And then I got Stephen King Night Shift. And then I love when I find used books and I find people's things in them. <laughs> so somebody's picture. This is kind of creepy. Look at this picture. <laughs> it's just weird that I find that in they're like clearly in PPE and it's the middle of a pandemic. I need to go sanitize now. But the last Stephen King book that I found is Delar Dolores Claiborne. So yeah, those are all of the Stephen King books that I picked up with this other pile up here. Um, I put this on my, um, I think I have it on hold on Libby for an audiobook, but then when I seen it on the shelf, I immediately grabbed it. It's Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I think that's how you say her name. I got Perfect Girlfriend. This one I had out from the library before and I never got a chance to read it because it was too back, but it's called I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. And um, I think it's, once again, another um, like psychological family thriller. 
got Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. So another great thriller to add to my collection. Other Girl by Erica Spin Spindler. Spindler? I don't know. Um, I haven't heard anybody talk about this book on like YouTube, but I don't know. I can definitely tell. I've seen it at the library before and it's another thriller. On the back of it, it says a heated romantic thriller. So that sounds fun. Kind of a random book thrown into the mix of fiction, but I got uh, 123 Magic Three Step Discipline for Calm, Effective, and Happy Parenting. I figure, you know, three bucks for a parenting book. It's always good to throw that in there. The next book that I grabbed is The Humans by Mad Hag. I got One by One by Ruth Ware. I believe um, Ruth, Ruth Ware's most recent book that she put out, that she has out. Um, don't quote me on that, but I got this one. And then I also got The Couple Next Door uh, by Sherry Lapina. Lapena. Um, and then this one's kind of a random one, but I got Helter Skelter, The True Story of the Manson Murders. So these ones here are like the classical ones that I kind of found that I wanted. So I got these two, Midsummer Night's Dream, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And I got The Tempest, both shapes here. Um, so yeah, these ones were only, I think, $1.50 for each of these. But like just the covers of them are so beautiful so I got those two and then the other two kind of classical ones that I love they look in amazing condition and they're just they're beautiful books I got the Odyssey by Homer so just oh look at that cover it's so beautiful and then I got the Iliad Translated by Robert Bagel, Bagles, Bagels. Another one by Homer. So the Iliad. Just oh, it's so beautiful. I mean, I have to like wipe them down a little bit, but oh, I just I love them. They're so beautiful. That blue. Oh. And the last few ones on this shelf is another one by Ruth Ware, uh, The Lion Game. I got Her Fearful Symmetry. It's the author of The Time Traveler's Wife. Um, but The Best Kind of People by Zoe Woodall. I grabbed this one. I've seen it at the library a ton of times. It's in amazing condition. And then this book, um, I've read it before. I read it like back in high school, but this one is The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. Um, it's a hardcover book, this one. I got three books by Kelly Armstrong. I got um, Bitten by Kelly Armstrong, the first book in the Women of the Underworld series. Um, honestly, this series is probably one of the first, I don't know, one of the first few series that like grabbed me as a reader when I was a teen. I loved it. I fell in love with the whole like fantasy, um, just magical side of it. It's like 13 books long, the series. So, and it's a Canadian author. So, um, highly re recommend it. It's like, you know, horror, fantasy, romance, all mixed into one. So highly recommend it. Bitten is the first book in the series. So I got that one and I've read all of these already, but I wanted them for my collection. So, And then I got Haunted, which is just another um, book in the series. And this one, uh, Omens, is her new kind of adult um, series. I don't, I think she's writing one more. It's uh, her Canesville series. So I can't remember if she's going, there's like three books in this series so far. Um, but I don't know if she's writing, I think she might be writing one more in this series. 
so there'll be four, but don't quote me on that. But I've, I've already read this one and I highly recommend it. It's really good. I also got this one called The Perfect Nanny. Um, I believe it's, yeah, another psychological thriller. I've seen it at the library a ton of times, put a hold on it a ton of times and just never got around to reading it. So now I have my own copy. It's by Layla Slimani. But it's super short. I thought it'd be a good book to just kind of throw myself into if I need something like thriller to get me back into reading if I get into a slump. I picked up a copy of Gillian Flynn's Sharp Objects. Yeah, now I have my own copy of it and I love that it doesn't have the um, show like actors like Amy Adams and all because they did a show I'm sure everybody knows this but they did a show based on this it's called sharp objects and every copy that I found at thrift stores has like the picture of Amy Adams and the two other actors I don't know their names but it's been on like the covers the copies that I've come across and I don't want to see like actors when I'm reading a book I just want to come up with the characters in my own imagination by myself so anyways I picked up that um I got this one a poetry book she felt like feeling nothing by R.H. Sin so I'm pretty excited about that it's just another like one of those poetry books like Ruby Core. Ruby Core. I think that's how you say your name um she wrote like milk and honey another poetry book that I picked her picked up is Love Her Wild by Atticus. And then I got this, because I heard it's really funny. Uh, the 100 year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared by Jonas jo Jonasson. <laughs> that was brutal. Um, but yeah, I picked this up. Um, thought I would give it a try. You can tell like it's been well loved. Lots of dog-eared pages. So that makes me happy. We're getting down there. I only got two piles left, okay? Um, I picked up a copy of Little Fires Everywhere. Um, my friend, um, she was messaging me the other day and she was talking about books and book recommendations and everything like that. And she said one of the last like really good books that she read was Water for Elephants, which is, a few years old like I'm pretty sure yeah 2007 is when it came out but um, I saw this one and I really wanted to give it a try I was super excited when I seen this um, the witches of New York the spine oh my god it's so pretty it's so pretty and then I picked up the Danish girl by David Ebershoff. Ebershoff. So, takes place in 1920, which is pretty cool. Thought I would give it a try. It's a beautiful book. I don't even think. Oh, somebody got to page 17. And then gave up on it. <laughs> Their bookmark is on page 17, so. Yeah, I picked up this. I picked up a copy of Choke by Chuck Polanuk. The last book that I got for my own collection is White or Leander um, by Janet Fitch. I picked up this copy, it's a hardcover. Those are all of the adult kind of books. Now, over to the kind of kid size books. I'm gonna do these pretty fast. I did pick up three different um, volumes of the Harry Potter series. I got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets in paperback. I got Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And then I got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So I really wanted these start building our collection of Harry Potter for Carwin so we can read them together. I think that'll be really fun. So, um, And then I got a whole bunch of other books for Carwin. I'll go through these pretty quickly, but I got him 
one, two, three, four. I got him five nonfiction books. He really loves nonfiction. I got him two Titanic books that are huge. Um, they like open up to like actually show how big the Titanic was or something like that, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's just like facts and everything. He loves reading about um, like nonfiction stuff. He wouldn't put this book down in the store. He was flipping through it in the, uh, the shopping cart as we were walking through. But this one is all about volcanoes and earthquakes. The stories and the science behind forces that shake and shape the earth. So once again, it's just a whole bunch of information. And then I think there's like little, yeah, there's projects that you can do to show what they're talking about which is pretty cool dangerous gases and then like looks like they're doing an experiment so that'll be fun give me some ideas to do with them the volcanoes and i got him this book time and money grade one to two grades one to two so it's all about learning about money and telling the time um but then i got another non-fiction book oceans and seas all about different animals. Um, There's in interesting facts and stuff. I don't know, story time stuff. We're only paying like a dollar for these books. I don't really care. And then I got a whole bunch of just kind of like picture books. Froggy's First Kiss, I thought that would be so cute for um, Valentine's Day. So, yeah. I got him this one, and once again, these were only like 80 cents, I think. I got How to Catch a Unicorn. These are just so colorful. When I opened them up, I was like, oh, I have to get this. Like, it's just so pretty. I just love the colors in them. Of course, I had to get some Ninjago books. He's obsessed. I found two Aaron Munch books which is amazing. I got Aaron's hair and look at me. And I got some of these like beginner reader books. Right here, so we got Hot Rod Hamster, uh, Need for Speed, another Lego one, Spider Sense Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin. Spider-Man versus Sandman. Uh, here's another one. All aboard. This one's level one. So he can read this. Another Lego one. And then I got another Ninjago one. Ninja versus Ghost Ninja. And then I got this picture book. What will fat cat sit on? Looks funny. <laughs> oh, that looks cute. And this is like one sentence on every page, so even Carwin could read this to me. Oh, I love the colors in it. <laughs> Last book that I got for him that of course he picked out and I had to get him was Honey Cats. That's hysterical. <laughs> uh, they're just so funny, like some of them. They're just like memes. <laughs> I thought that was cute. That's all of my books. My book haul that was like a hundred bucks, but I went to Chapters two weeks ago and I got, my sister got me um, a $50 gift card for my birthday and I left with, I think it was five books and I still spent $40 with five books. I used $50 gift card and I still spent 40. So for five books, full price versus, I don't even know how many books for a hundred bucks. But thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope you guys got some good ideas for some books to get. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.